TV channel, our regular look at what's on UK TV. Yes, well, we've had the football for a couple of weeks. We've still got uh, a couple of weeks to go. And we've got Wimbledon starting. And yes, there's uh, a certain general election here in the UK next Thursday. So uh, Thursday night, uh, Friday, there's some... Uh, stuff on there which we won't talk about we'll have a look at what else is on around and about away from Wimbledon and football and flipping politics although there might be a, an odd current affairs thing that might be worth a look at but we're in the company of the TV Times as ever and this is for the 29th of June to the 5th of July so we're going to have a look at that guys just a quick mention for friends of the channel 2 hand stationery uh, great set of pens there guys for you artists or if you're just like me right need a good set of black pens to last you a long time and they certainly will do to write your labels and notes etc so uh, follow the link guys and uh, follow the uh, voucher code you can get an extra discount with that voucher code so they're already very well priced at just £8.49 from £12.99 if you follow the link but then if you put that in at checkout that voucher code you'll get an extra 15% so it comes up at less than £7 so a great gift for you just treat yourself or for a friend uh, you may never need another set of black pens for a long long time great value for money 4.4 out of 5 on Amazon rating with just under 5,000 reviews so fill your boots guys Right, on to the TV. Let's have a look. Royal Lovers, yes, Saturday the 29th of June, Channel 4, 8pm, A Royal Guide to Funerals. Uh, not the most uh, uplifting uh, programme. It charts the history of Royal Bereavement. So grab your popcorn for that one. Uh, Music-wise, yes, Glastonbury's continuing, of course. Uh, but away from that, on Wednesday the 3rd of July, Sky Arts, so a bit of culture, 9pm, Battle of the Bagpipes. There you go, a three-part series, a look at the World Championships in Glasgow. So I do like a bagpipe, do you? don't you? I, do, I love it. Pipe down over there at the back, please. But uh, yeah, I do, I do like, especially, especially a load of them. Uh, well, I think they get the, I mean, I'm, I'm no lover of the Scots, they don't like us, so I should love them. But uh, I must admit, the old... The old bagpipes get get the old get the old hackles going, don't they? That's for sure. Not not so sure about the skirts though. Right, current affairs. Yeah, Monday the first of July, nine pm, Channel Four. Skint. Yeah, yes, I am. No, no, it's just called Skint. Uh, the truth about Britain's broken economy. Yeah, a bit a bit of cheerfulness. That's obviously going to send the pound plummeting, isn't it? Uh, Tim Harford. He's from the Financial Times uh, paper, and I think he does uh, podcasts as well. Gives us his insight on this problems we've got and. How we can improve it, hey? There you go. Why not make him Chancellor of the Exchequer then? The new new uh, government, new Parliament there. So uh, we've got they've got that that role sorted out, haven't we? Uh, Family Matters Channel Five, Tuesday the second of July, nine pm. The baby scandal that shocked the world. This is uh, a documentary about a custody battle between a family in Wales and a family in the US who both adopted the same twins. There you go, buy one, get one free. Uh, can't they just share or uh, just have one each? I'm not too sure, anyway. On to travel. Yes, she's back. Yes, they've, they've got a gallivanting again. Susan Kalman's grand day out and she's back with another series. This time she's on Channel 5, 9pm on Thursday the 4th of July. May the 4th be with her. Uh, she's back in the Channel Islands for this one. Uh, I do feel for them, I must admit. Uh, on to sports, away from what we've already talked about with uh, Wimbledon and footy of course the Tour de France gets underway yes this week 10.45 ITV4 Saturday the 29th of June you can see the highlights of it so if you want to see highlights of stage one get on your bike you can watch that BBC3 Monday the 1st of July at 9pm Paddy and Molly show no mercy see what they did there mercy mercy okay the lives and careers of two MMA fighters I'm not into that at all from Liverpool I assume the scouts not English anyway so who cares on ITV1 Wednesday the 3rd 3rd of July, 9pm, the football fraudster, yeah, a failed footballer called Mehdi Abal Abalimba scams his way in love and money, yeah, convinces everyone, he's, I think he plays for Chelsea or something, I, I thought this, uh, the, the football fraudster was a documentary about Jude Bellingham, but I was totally wrong on that one, Animal Lovers, cha Channel 5, Tuesday the 2nd of July, 8pm, the Yorkshire Vets back, there must be a hell of a lot of series of these now, a brand new series of that, emergency surgery on a spaniel fleet for eating too many chocolates, well we've all been there haven't we, now on to foodie stuff, ITV1, 8.25am, so you early risers, have got nothing better to do, Sunday the 30th of June, Jimmy and Shivy's Farmhouse Breakfast, yes, uh, 11 weeks, of recipes and a look at Jimmy Doherty's wildlife farm and park isn't he very very lucky he is and there's more Jimmy on Netflix but uh, we'll chat about that in a moment uh, Thursday the 4th of July ITV1 
8.30 p.m. Tom Kerridge, like a bit of Tom, cooks Britain. Yes, Tom heads off in his 50s food truck. Looks quite smart, actually. First stop, Cambridgeshire. Hope he's had its service, though. It's uh, it's, a lot, it's an old old van, that, isn't it? 4th of July, Thursday, Channel 5, 8 p.m. Supermarket Own Brands, the big taste test. Yes, tonight they're going to have a look at soft drinks. There you go. Are there any decent supermarket versions of soft drinks? I, I suppose we'll find out. But if you know any, guys, give us a recommend. Recommend them to me because I've yet to found them, find them myself or even try them. So I don't know. Property, BBC 4, 10 p.m. Tuesday, the 2nd of July. How about if you inherited a castle? Well, this is a, a, an Argentinian maid who has left the castle by a previous employer that she worked for for many, many years. Uh, under the proviso that she never, she's never allowed to sell it, so she's going to have to live in it. Or a castle? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? There isn't even a moat or a drawbridge, but uh, it might be quite interesting that one. Uh, now to streaming, guys. Before we finish today, on Netflix, a new romantic comedy. I don't think I mentioned this last week. It's actually started on Friday, so I've cheated a little bit. But from Saturday, yes, Saturday, the 29th of June, a family affair, and this is an unexpected romance triggers comic consequences for a young woman, her mother and her boss, grappling with complications of love, love, sex and identity. Join the club, club guys. This stars Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. I will be trying to grab a look at that one. On Netflix from Wednesday the 3rd of July, yes he's back. Eddie Murphy is back as Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. And he has a new partner plus some old buddies. It's only been 40 years. Uh, most of them have still got their hair, the bastards. I don't know how they managed that anyway. But uh, there you go. If you like your bit of Beverly Hills Cop, that's back for more. On Netflix from Tuesday the 2nd of July, a, a documentary called Sprint. Yes, I won't be getting involved in this. Following athletes from all over the world, this series delves deep into the psyches of those psyche of all the elite competitors who train to be the fastest person on the planet. I did it. I did 100 metres when I was at school in about 14 seconds. I thought that was pretty good, that, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought so. An exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the high stakes and mental toughness of the sprinters who devote their entire lives to crossing the finishing line in record time where their professional futures decide in just a fraction of a second. This comes in six parts. On your marks, everyone. On ITVX, from Sunday the 30th of June, all five episodes immediately available, as you'd expect. Jimmy's Taste of Florida. Yes, he's back, Jimmy Doherty. This time, he's eating his way. He's got left his farm, and he's eating his way around the Sunshine State. Well, there's plenty of Wendy's and McDonald's, isn't there, to have a go out there, so that's okay. On BBC iPlayer from Monday, the 1st of July, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Not a bad girl, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is a brilliant British television series based on the Holly Jackson novel of the same name, adapted by Poppy Cogan, directed by Dolly Wells. And all the first season are available, six 45-minute episodes covering the events of the first book. So if you read the book, see what they've adapted, how they've adapted it. Pip Fitz Amobi, played by Emma Myers, isn't satisfied that the killing of a local schoolgirl has been investigated enough and takes matters into her own hands. Watch your back, Pip. On Disney Plus, to finish off, a documentary from Friday the 5th of July simply called Brats. Yes, there used to be a, an old brat pack in the, what, 50s, was it? 40s, 50s, 60s? But um, well, this is about the 80s one. Actor Andrew McCarthy, uh, on his time as a brat pack member in the 80s, that he also has footage with Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, and, of course, the lovely, wonderful Demi Moore. Add their thoughts to, to Andrews. Uh, apparently, Molly... Molly Ringwald and Judd Nelson don't like being called brats and refuse to take part. <laughs> or, or in other words, the pay wasn't enough or something like that. I'm not too sure. Anyway, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Lots to have a go at outside of football and tennis and politics and election night. Yes, I have no, I have no interest whatsoever. I give up on all our parties here in the UK. If you, you live outside the UK, you're pro probably very, very lucky. So let me know what you're looking forward to watching, guys. My thanks again to this tome that I currently subscribe to. I might change that if they don't send me a few copies themselves for, for promoting them like this, but I probably won't because I just go, what's cheapest? That's the thing, and it's, it's a good good value for money. Apparently, it's, it's Britain's uh, best love TV magazine. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm sure he can't he can print it if it's lies, can't he? So thanks to the TV Times. 
let me know what you're looking forward to watch please if you're still with me and you enjoy what i try and do uh please push that subscribe button if you've not already done so push the notification button check through the channel i do obviously do lots of film and tv reviews as well as these sort of information vlogs and you'll see stuff on my football team manchester city as well so that's of any interest to you uh, have a look at that and TV Times or anybody else as an individual or organisation, you like what I try and do or want to sponsor or support me in any way whatsoever, like uh, free issues, that would be nice. Uh, just get in touch, guys. You can t get in touch through YouTube, through the messages system, or, of course, through my various socials where I put lots of stuff on football, film and TV on there as well. I'm on X and TikTok at the same address, at Bernard underscore Deneen. I'm on Facebook, just at Bernard Deneen. Or just email me and we can have a chat. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you've been watching or what you're looking forward to. Great to hear from you, as ever. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't worry. Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.